Who knows what they've been up to. But it's good to see the little ones copying their mothers. Now, Volpine Wolf Girl, you were wondering if I thought that their saliva perhaps had some antibacterial, antibiotic properties in it. I definitely think so, because with all the animals out there, well, that like the dogs and the cats that groom themselves in that way, they always lick open wounds. And, and, and we've seen it out here in the wild, and I'm sure you've seen it at home with your dogs, that if it's just a minor injury, sometimes you don't even bother by putting an antiseptic spray on, because the dogs just constantly lick it and it heals quite well. So I definitely think that there's something in their saliva, or perhaps it's just the process of keeping it nice and clean that's doing it good and preventing any infection. The problem though with a wound like that lioness has on her shoulder is that it's in a bit of an awkward spot. You can see it's been weeping quite a bit. And I don't know if she is able to really reach onto her shoulder, though these cats are quite nimble and they groom themselves in all sorts of places that I thought would never be possible. But they also perform aloe grooming, so perhaps one of the other lionesses might even groom that for her and keep it clean. But it will close up. Now, speaking about this lioness, and uh, of course her injury on her shoulder. Rachel, you were wondering at what point would we administer veterinary care to that lioness? Now Rachel, we wouldn't. We wouldn't at all because this wasn't caused f because of human interference. This is most likely, I think it looks like a bite wound. I think one of the, either a lioness, uh, two of the lionesses got into a bit of a, uh, a tiz or maybe it's from one of the Birmingham boys because it doesn't look older. I can't remember seeing it yesterday morning. Maybe Avia spotted it in the afternoon. I'll have a chat with him and ask him. So we try to intervene as little as possible, possible out here. Of course, we've come in and we have uh, implemented roads and that type of thing, but, but that's where it sort of stops and starts. We view the animals from a distance. If they want to come to us, they come to us. We don't drive right on top of them. We give them space. But if somebody were to have come into the property, for instance, and, and tried to poach a rhino, and maybe they shot the rhino, but the rhino didn't die and they didn't get the horn, we would then intervene because that injury was caused by us as humans. Other than that, if this lioness picks up a, a severe infection and she does end up passing on, that's the nature. That's just one of those things. And, and that's her genes not meant to survive in this world. Nature only allows for the fittest and the strongest to make it through, and that's why we have droughts or bouts of diseases and, and those types of things, is that it is to control populations. So this is, this is normal, this is natural. We, we really don't want to have to try and fix every single animal, otherwise we'll have the weak genes continuing on, and, and that, shouldn't, that shouldn't be allowed out here in nature. You imagine if you let all the animals survive and you got to a point where you had a drought, the amount of death that would then be around would be absolutely horrendous because those weaker genes would have been weeded out throughout the year prior to the build-up of the drought. So it's good that we just sort of observe and, and take note. It's like when we saw Mfumo when he had the injury on his face and it ended up being a type of miasis where a fly, uh, maybe a, a screwworm fly laid its egg inside there or whether it was one of the bot fly species that actually where their, um, where their, their pupa, not their pupa, their larvae, sorry, my mind is still asleep, actually feed on living flesh. We weren't sure exactly which type it was, but we watched it. And that was the most amazing thing to see out here in the wild because most of the cases are always intervened by vets or it's because it's, it, it's with, with domesticated animals and then we do intervene. And he healed fine. I mean, we were very worried about him. And look at him. He turned out to be wonderful. So he seems to be accident prone. I think if I was a lion, I would probably, I'd probably uh, 
probably be like him for more if I was a lion, seeing as though the two of us keep injuring ourselves all the time. Now, apparently, there is a video uh, up on about, about my aces, so you're welcome to go to the Safari Live page and have a look at that video, in case you're wondering what on earth I'm talking about, and then, well, I'll let that video do all the talking. <laughs> 